Anna, Timon and Pumbaa are on the loose. We are on the loose with no children and no wives. So we decided we're gonna to come to a place we've been wanting to come to for a while. We are here at an Atlanta staple, the Vortex. I've only eaten at one over uh, in Midtown. Josh was eating at both of them. So, so good, can't wait to show you. All right, we've got our seats. We're right here by the bar. It is a smaller place, but awesome, awesome, awesome decor. Very, very loud. Uh, they do have QR codes if you want to check out their food or their uh, drink menu. But I grabbed a plain one so I can show you guys because they really do have a, uh, like basically instructions and rules for how the place works, which is fantastic. Uh, this place is 21 and over only inside. This makes life easier for them. Let me show you guys the menu. So they do have regular drinks, bottled and canned, non-alcoholic drinks and soft drinks. Their appetizers, they all sound good. I don't, I think Joshua and I are gonna get, they do have nachos too. We're gonna get an appetizer. We gotta figure out what. Sandwiches, I love me a good Cuban sandwich, but can't get that here. Can't do that to myself. Chili and salads. They're basic burgers. Then they're signature burgers. Show you guys all of these. Then they're old school burgers kind of like diner burgers. And then what they're known for, their coronary bypass burgers. These crazy contraptions, absolutely insane. Nothing that we could even attempt. And then they do have funnel cake fries and deep fried cheesecake for dessert. And then there's, a, what? You have a single one? I think I got one the only other time I've been here. I know I didn't eat it all though, if I did. It's going well. All right, so check it again. The single coronary bypass. Two bacon grilled cheese sandwiches as the top and bottom buns. Four white slices of bread. Eight ounce flame grilled sirloin patty. 10 slices of cheese. Nine strips of bacon, a fried egg, four ounces of mayo and a partridge in a pear tree. I mean, it's it's absurd. Um, staying away from this tonight, it, I, I just can't. So gonna pick something off this signature burger menu. And I think I'm leaning towards this zombie apocalypse. Okay, so my dumb self forgot to film the cool skull head for the entrance to the vortex and this is it it's not very big at all as you guys have seen in okay so our appetizer has arrived we got some the fried pickles of love here so we got fried pickle spears some jalapeno ranch josh and i are both huge fans of good jalapeno ranch and i'll show y'all josh got his drink here in the vortex signature souvenir cup that he's able to take with him. And this is their special alcoholic drink that they're known for here. All right, our food is here. Joshua went with the Four Horsemen Burger. Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse there. Uh, came with some horseradish. Yeah, horseradish, mushrooms, onions. And then sada chili. Turkey chili, probably Turkey chili. And then I got my side here, I got the disco fries as my side. And then I came with a piece of Texas toast. Or really the sandwich is on Texas toast. I believe that's honey barbecue sauce on top. Got a fried egg under there. It said sunny side up egg, but I opted for fried. Uh, pepper jack cheese. You've got the, the burger patty there and barbecue 
or uh, pulled pork, barbecue pulled pork on there as well. I'm definitely gonna have to cut this thing in half to try to get to it. Now, I wouldn't be a real foodie or food reviewer if I didn't try to show you guys a cross section, but as you can tell, it is falling apart, so that is the best I can give you on a cross section of this. Okay, while well, I wait for Joshua to finish, I ate my monstrosity. It was so, yeah, it was so good, so messy, but the flavors all went together really, really nicely. The sweetness of the honey barbecue sauce and the sweetness of the pulled pork mixed with the flavor of the burger and the egg, just chef's kiss. Perfect. Perfect. Did you say chef's kiss? Mwah. <laughs> chef's kiss. And then Joshua over here. So it's a great burger. Like, I really do enjoy it, but it's not something like I'm glad I had it. I'm glad I ordered it. There's other things I would try before I ordered it again. Okay. So it's really good. I like horse radish. It's right there. Um, chili, though. Best chili ever had. Best chili's ever had. And how about the jalapeno cornbread? The Yes, sir. All right, folks. I've got a happy plate. And let me, I have a burger. Let me tell you, these were basically like poutine, and I love, love, love poutine. So I am so beyond stuff; it is unreal. And Josh still has half a burger. Skinny guy, big guy. What's yeah, up with yep. this? Yep. Puma Timon and Timon. <laughs> Timon is eating it all. Show you guys a little more of the decor now that the folks that were sitting beside us are gone. But like literally, that is it for the dining room. It is just that area. And then our small little section here by the bar, there is a wait now, as it is later in the evening. Hey everyone, as you can see, it's a few days later. Joshua and I were so stuffed from the vortex and just tired because we were stuffed that we forgot to film a uh, closing to our video and trip out to the vortex. As you can tell, this is going to be a relatively short video, but we had a blast. Um, again, that was my first time to that Vortex location, just my second time at the Vortex overall, because uh, they do have another location in Midtown here in Atlanta, but fantastic. Those burgers are so, so good. Um, just if you're in the Atlanta area, you have to experience and try the Vortex. And I've heard their drinks are really good too, but um, I'm not big on uh, drinking alcoholic beverages, so uh, you just have to take some other folks word for it there. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and before I sign off and forget, I want to do our subscriber shout-out, and our shout-out for this video goes to my boy, Joel Galarza Sr. Joel, thank you so much uh, for subscribing. Uh, Joel and I um, met via playing some uh, tap sports, um, and I appreciate you supporting me and supporting the channel. means a whole lot, so hope you enjoyed this video, Joel. Um, and for everybody else, if you did, please hit that like button down below as it goes a long way to help our channel and letting us know what you like and what you'd like to see more of. If you have any questions or things that you saw within the video or about the Vortex, hit us up in the comments. We love interacting with you guys. And if this is your first time here or you've been a casual viewer and just haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. As of today, we have three or uh, yeah, 385 subscribers. So we're 15 away from 400 and then just another 100 on top of that to reach our end of year goal. We're hoping to be at 500 subscribers by the end of 2023. We truly appreciate all of you out there. Yes, I'm talking to you uh, that watch and support us. It just means the world to us. Until next time, what's your why?